do we got here? What is going on guys? Got something in the mail today. Take a look at what is in here. box inside another box. There we go. We've got some new waders here. If I can hold them and not drop them everywhere. All right. So, yo, get rid of all this crap because we don't need it. So in here, right here are the Fast Dash Bear Camo waders neoprene waders 600 gram insulate so just doing kind of a first reactions here to these got a strap is that a belt for around your waist yes it is i like those i like those belts around your waist really help any waiter system get all the crap out of here don't need that Alrighty, there we go. So, I'm not really sure that's what they look like. I'm not really sure what this camo pattern is. Let's see if they have it here. Dissolve camo. Ammo vision difference. Yeah, blah, blah. So, there you go. It is dissolve camo. But, like I said, these are the Bass Dash, right there, um, bare neoprene waders and we'll see how they fit here. All right. So, I guess first impressions here. Start with the boots. They fit pretty well. I mean, they're, they're pretty comfortable. They're pretty much the same as most waiter boots. Fairly comfortable. They're not too tight. Um, and they, they they fit pretty true honestly the size that I you know that I ordered they fit pretty true to that there's a little bit of room which is good because you if you want to add you know another pair of socks or wear thick socks or toe warmers you want a little bit of room in there so you're not cramping your feet up so the boots are really good I like those the only thing that I don't really like on these already is the 600 gram insulate decent for early to mid season uh, you know where I get it's can be pretty cold. I typically like to run 1200 to 1600 gram insulate boots, just personal preference. Um, but another pair of socks, and that's not a huge issue. Moving up, these are neoprene waders. I haven't had neoprene waders in a couple of years. I've been using the breathables, and so we'll test them out. Uh, it's got padded knees right there and these this neoprene is actually fairly thick it's not the thickest neoprene waders i've ever had but it's pretty thick let's see what it says here 4.3 millimeter uh, naturally insulating stretch neoprene so there you go 4.3 millimeter thick neoprene and then this camo pattern i guess that does bear mentioning too it's something i've never seen this camo pattern it is dissolve bare camouflage so it's kind of uh, I mean, it's kind of an Optifade digital camo combination. I kind of like just natural looking camo, the Max 4, Max 5, uh, stuff like that. But we'll see. I think it'll, it'll still work. Should still get the job done. Moving up, we've got these two straps. Which I really like these. My current pair of waders, my breathables that I have, they have a strap that's permanent here. And that thing drives me nuts. It's like sewn in. You can't unsnap it. Because I, when I shoot, I like to unsnap this, not have this even there. One less thing to worry about because you got that snap right there. And I guess that does bear mentioning too. Having this snap right here. Yeah. Having that snap right there. Put your gun up on that. That can make your gun you know, go off one way or the other. So if you can adjust it so this is lower and shoot with this, but just personal preference, I like to unsnap that, not even have it in the way, pull up, a little easier. It's one less thing to worry about. And you can just keep this one snapped up or not. Uh, but I do like these snaps on there. Um, I know I, there's ones that have Velcro, there's ones that, like I said, are permanent, and that drives me absolutely nuts. So, I like that. 
And these actually fit, I didn't even adjust them. They got little, uh, so these don't cut into your shoulder. They got little neoprene pads up there, foam pads, whatever. It's got shell holders, holds eight shells. Looks like 20 gauge to 12, probably 10 gauge too, I'd assume. <laughs> I don't think I put 28 gauge shells in there. I think uh, a lot of these, you bend over those 28 gauge shells just slide right out. So I wanna do that, but 20 gauge, 12 gauge, those will work perfect. Got the hand warmer, hand holder, whatever you want to call it. Does it have a hole? Yep. Got a water drainage hole there. Front pocket, right there. Pretty decent. Looks like that's completely waterproof. Yeah, it doesn't feel like there's any holes in there. So that must be completely waterproof. And then it's got a pocket in here. Like so. Put your phone or keys in that. That's a pretty big pocket, actually. That's pretty. Actually, that's a really substantial size pocket. That's about all the features on these actual waders. Make sure I don't have the straps on there. It also came with a repair kit for the neoprene and a belt, which there's belt loops. There's one, two. Um, I like these belts. It helps kind of make the waders fit a little better. Uh, wearing the breathables, all the ones I've had so far have come with belts, so I'm just kind of used to wearing those belts. And these belts like this that aren't elastic, aren't stretchy, I really like because all you got to do is unsnap them real quick, put the rope on your jet sled when you're pulling a sled in, and then just snap it back hands free. You don't have to even pull your sled. So I like that's something I like to do, and so I really like that belt on there. Like I said, I'll do a full review on these waders. Uh, they, they cost $170 on Amazon from Bass Dash. And once again, these are the Bass Dash Bear Camo Neoprene Waders. Uh, you know, I like to try out these kind of, I call them entry level waders. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge advocate for getting new people involved in the outdoors, whether it be waterfowl hunting, deer hunting, turkey hunting, fishing, whatever. I just like, I want to get more people outdoors and particularly waterfowl. I mean, that's my passion. I'm trying to share it with people. So getting reviews on these entry level waders, I believe is very important. If you're watching this and you haven't tried duck hunting, haven't tried goose hunting, and you're kind of intimidated about, you know, what do I get? What, you know, where do I start? That's why I'm doing reviews like this, unboxings like this. Um, companies send me these or offer these to me. I'm like, yeah, I'll test them out. You know, I, I want to try to put out as much information about all the different waders out there, about all the different products out there, honestly, so that you guys are the best informed that you can be when you finally decide to try duck hunting, goose hunting, or whatever. I mean, you could use these for fishing, you could use them for trapping, whatever you want to. But like I said, I will do a full review video on these sometime in the future, probably over the summer. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. I've got all kinds of hunting video. I've got deer hunting, turkey hunting, duck and goose hunting. Those are my two big ones, as well as turkey hunting, hunting tips and tricks, and more gear reviews and unboxing. So if any of that is up your alley, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we will catch you out there, guys. See ya.